Hey, what's going on fellow hunters? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today is October 8th. It's 5 p.m. I just got off work an hour ago. Um, I jetted down here to this piece of public. And as you can tell, I've got this area all to myself. Only got about two and a half hours to hunt. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jet back here. I kind of got a little area I want to check out and kind of set up for um, and possibly hunt again tomorrow morning. So I'm kind of just going in here for a... Uh, for a quick after work scout to kind of see what happens man hopefully we'll get hopefully we'll get super lucky tonight hopefully something will come wandering by so like i said i ain't got a whole lot of time i'm gonna go ahead and get in here and uh, we're gonna get to hunting um, i do want to apologize right for not giving you updates so we're a week into deer season but um, opening day i didn't want to come out here with my hunting partner and just keep shoving the camera in his face I man he's not he's not as into this stuff as i am but opening weekend i ended up not seeing a dang thing so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna walk back in here we're gonna try somewhere new for this evening um it's new to this year but i hunted it once last year there's like uh there used to be this clear cut trail back through here it looked like an old atv trail and it was just lined with scrapes so we're gonna jet back here we're gonna check it out um and then tomorrow during lunch I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work my way into the swamp that's on the other side of the property. And then uh, hopefully we'll find some sign back there also. But for tonight, for the next couple hours, we're going back here. So I'll get back with you when I get back here because I'm gonna have to use this phone for, for on X and stuff just so I can go ahead and track my, track my path in there. So I'll get back with you soon. So it has been an absolute battle getting back here. Um, it's nowhere near cut and clean like it was. Um, I just had a doe. I saw its ass go flying off. It was right over there. So, I must be in a halfway decent spot. I think I'm going to go right up the side of this small tree right here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it and just see what happens. So it's about 5.45. I've been up here for maybe 10 minutes, just kind of getting settled in. Uh, there was a doe bedded right over there that jumped up, and there was a doe bedded right over there that jumped up. Uh, so I think I might be a little too deep into this bedding. Uh, last year, there was this huge... Last year there was this huge cut path back in here where somebody had cut all the way through the woods. I walked back there and that path is just thick and grown up so nobody nobody maintained it this year. I was kind of just working my way back up front, trying to find somewhere to set up and start jumping these deer. But I was already standing at the base of this tree thinking this is where I want to set up. And then one jumped up and then another one jumped up. So I was like, all right, this is definitely a good spot. Uh, but what I'm afraid of is that I've jumped them out for the evening. and. Uh, Probably won't see anything else but i know there's deer back in here now i just feel like i'm a little too deep so i'm gonna go ahead and mark this spot on on x uh, i'm in this weird unorthodox tree there's limbs everywhere i'm only like 10 feet off the ground my bow's hanging backward uh, it's an absolute mess up here right now but i'm up here i'm set in i need to pull my bridge out a little bit because it's real real tight but yeah we're gonna we're gonna hang out Hopefully something will show up. So we've got about 45 minutes left. And uh, so far other than those two doe that I jumped when I was setting up, uh, I haven't seen anything. Hopefully they'll come working back through here though, because there's some pretty heavy trails in here. So I just got back to the van. Um, <clears throat> I think all in all that was a pretty good hunt. I mean, I had uh, I jumped two doe. I jumped two doe on the way in when I was getting ready to set up, and then uh, I made some comment right about it being 45 minutes till uh, the end of legal, and I hadn't seen anything. 
and then I shut the camera off and not even 30 seconds later I had like six doe come in um, they were about 40 or 50 yards away and they kind of cut from one piece of thick through a little bit open to another piece of thick and I mean I, I could barely get the camera around quick enough to, uh, to even catch them on camera I think I might have got the last one in the group and then I don't know 15 minutes later or something I finally saw two more kind of way at a distance I saw them cut through I don't really think I got any um, any footage of that and then I had a raccoon climbing up and down a tree pretty close to me but other than I mean I saw quite quite a few deer so I think that I'm kind of in the same or I'm kind of in the right location I just need to um, find some place that's a little more open and the thing that really messed me up, so this is this is twice now that this has happened to me, so just word of advice, um, always make sure you carry a compass. All right, so twice now on the way out of the woods in the pitch black where I didn't know where I was, I've had my freaking, my dot on Onyx either tell me I was facing the wrong direction or tell me I was somewhere that I wasn't. So just make sure you're carrying a compass because the only, the only way that I got out was that um, I checked the compass on my watch and I, I went ahead and pointed east and then just started walking because I had actually somehow went completely the wrong direction and ended up down by the river. So um, I'm going to be back out tomorrow morning um, with my hunting partner Anthony. So I don't really, at, at this moment I have zero plan because kind of all the, the mess of getting out of there really got me lost and I don't really kind of know where I was at. So. I, hope, I know I have it marked and everything like that, but making it back there in the dark is going to be kind of difficult. And I was making a ton of noise. But maybe we'll go kind of in the same location we were opening day, but instead of going all the way down, um, all the way down the dry creek bed, maybe we'll just kind of set up somewhere right, just right inside the woods, and hopefully we'll see something. So that's kind of the plan for now. Um, sorry I couldn't get anything tonight, but. It's definitely uh, definitely got my hopes up seeing all those deer out there because uh, now I know where there's some at. Still haven't seen a buck all season, but uh, like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, and um, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.